Okay, so here's where we left off um, last week. We had a file that read in um, an input file, xy underscore data dot txt, and stored the numbers read in in a data structure, which contained a double x and a double y. And one of the issues with this is that you need to know in advance the number of lines or the number of points you're reading in. And I mean, an interesting thing to know how to do would be how to deal with it if you didn't know and if if you could read it in a file that was arbitrarily long. And so you can do that using um, a class called Vector. So let's edit this program to store the data points in vectors. Okay. So vectors are a lot like arrays, but they have a few useful um, features. So to use vectors, we need to include vector. We don't need the data structure anymore, so we can remove that. And now you'll see that Visual Studio is helping us. It knows there's something wrong here. Um, so we can't do that. And actually now, because um, because vectors allow us to uh, increase the size of the vector without, you know, at will, we don't need to keep track of the array index anymore, so we can delete that. Um, but we do need to declare a vector, so let's declare a vector. Vectors can contain any type of uh, data, so we know that these numbers are doubles, so let's make a vector of doubles. So vector of doubles to hold x values, and let's make another one for the y values. All right. Opening the file, that's the same as before. Check if it's open. Uh, if so, carry on. While well, there's still lines in the file, read a line in. Okay, so this bit's going to change this bit now. So what we want to do now is we're going to read in the values from the file into temporary variables. Temporary variables for x and y. So read them in to those variables. So let's remove this. So now that will read in the numbers from the file into these temporary variables. And now we're going to push back those values that are read in onto these vectors. So this is the, the cool thing about vectors, is you can add um, you can add a value to the end of the vector just by pushing it back onto it. So effectively we've added the value xt to the vector x and we need to do the same thing for yt of course okay so all we've all we've changed is how we're storing the values previously we used the data structure and in previously to that we used arrays now we're using a vector because we can keep pushing back values onto it um, at, at will all right, so the things that need changing for this to keep working is we need to update this because my points doesn't exist anymore. Instead, we've got two vectors, x and y, and but you can get the data out of the vectors just like if they were if, as if they were arrays. And then because we don't know how many values there are necessarily, we can use size to get an integer of the size of the vector but size will give you the number of elements so for example in this case x dot size will return 6 and the array indexes start at 0 so we need to subtract 1 um, to make sure that we output the right thing so let's build this and run it and it should do exactly the same thing as the previous program but behind the scenes now we've stored that data differently Okay, something else we could do actually is we could store the data I in a 2D vector. So just like with an array, you could have a vector of vectors. So this time we could do it like this. Instead of creating two different vectors, we could create a vector of vectors. So this is allowed. And let's call it data. Vector of vectors to hold the data. Okay, um, so lots of things are going to be the same now in this program. Um, 
but now we've, what we're going to do is we're going to make a vector of the x y point that's read in and then we're going to push that vector back onto this vector of vectors all right so that sounds like a lot of the words vector in the same sentence but it'll be it'll become apparent so here we declared temporary variables for x and y now let's declare a temporary vector so let's call it temp temporary vector for the xy point all right and let's push back these values we read in from the file onto the temporary vector so let's push these back onto temp so let's uh, modify these comments add the vector add the point add the x value to the vector temp to the temporary vector and then the same for y value so now we've got a temporary vector and let's push that back onto our vector of vectors okay so when we leave this loop now we'll have a vector of vectors called data which is a vector of data points which themselves are vectors with the xy point okay so that should work all we need to do now is change the um, output bit so we can check that it's working properly so now I've got no vector x but I have got the vector data so data size in this example will return 6 so I have to subtract 1 still and then to get the values out you do it just like as if they were if it was an array so data i naught is x and data i 1 is y so that should that should build and run now and of course it will do exactly the same thing as the previous program but um but now again behind the scenes the way we've stored the data is different again 